morning guys so this is my first vlog in jamaica i'm doing a weekend vlog we've been here for about a week yeah we arrived a week ago today but yeah i haven't had to do any filming or anything yet because i'd already filmed like what i packed in my suitcase and in my hand luggage and the actual travel day so those vlogs all went live on my usual like monday wednesday Fridays yeah so I thought I'd just have the first week just to like get my bearings and spend time with Pete and just relax a little bit before I pick up the camera properly so if this is the first video of mine that you're watching um, then we are in Jamaica for five weeks we're from the UK and my husband Pete has got a work contract here in Kingston for three months so we've flown out for five weeks of it and we're staying in I can never pronounce it Ochos Rio? O Ocho Rios. I need to figure out how to pronounce it while I'm staying here. <laughs> but yeah, we're staying in a lovely villa in a gated community. But yes, it's Friday morning and we are heading down to the pool. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. I'm going to have to put the camera down now because we're going down a really big hill. Um, and yeah, I'll catch up with you when we're there. Thank you. A chocolate ice cream with sprinkles, please. Okay. Okay. I'll make it for her. Chocolate ice cream, sprinkles, and chocolate. With a cone or a cup? A cone, please. You only have a cup. A cup, please. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you. Jensen, can I have an ice cream, please? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Delicious. Yes, we're on holiday. Right, we're heading back to the villa for some lunch now. I forgot to say as well that Jasper has just gotten over chicken pox. So we arrived on Friday afternoon and then Saturday morning he had one spot on his neck and I thought it was probably just a mosquito bite or something. We went swimming and what else did we do? Maybe went to the beach. Um, and then when we got home and took his swimming top off, he had about 10 on his back. And I just thought, thank goodness. It wasn't like the day before because we wouldn't have been able to fly. Um, so it's meant that we've not been able to go to the pool since then. So today was the first time that we've been able to go to the pool. We went to the park yesterday and the day before because they had scabbed over then, but I just wanted to give it like seven days. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we've literally just been using the paddling pool, um, going to the beach when there's been no one there. Oh my God, I'm really out of breath. Right, we are home now, back at the villa. We just had some lunch, we just had macaroni cheese. Um, and Jensen's gonna go down for a nap. Me and Pete are just trying to decide what we're gonna do this weekend. We wanna go to a resort just so that we can chill out and hopefully put the boys in the kids club for like an hour. <laughs> just so that I can get a bit of time off. But yeah, we're just trying to find one that we can maybe, like me and the boys go to now and Pete will meet us after work. Or if not, one that we're gonna all go to tomorrow morning. So um, yeah, the plans for the rest of the weekend are kind of up in the air at the moment, but we're just chilling out because it is seriously, seriously hot out there today. Okay, Jens is down for a nap. Jasper is doing some crafting. I'm doing colouring water. Yeah. And I'm gonna do a quick ab workout. I'm gonna try and do it out on the veranda, um, but if it gets too hot, then I'll come indoors and do it. of getting the taxi 
Fancy in getting ready. I forgot to say where we're actually staying. It is the Melia Bracco village um, and it is amazing. Pete literally booked it on booking.com like two hours before we left the villa and he has done very well. We're here for two nights. We're in the level area. So there are two kind of accommodation areas. But yeah, we're in the level area, which is a little bit more luxurious. Um, that's what the concierge said and you can tell, like it's really lovely. And we've got a really lovely room. And yes, the boys are being crazy. My battery's about to die. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys the room. Right, that didn't go to plan because the boys were running around like crazy and it's dark now. So I can't really show you like the nice view and stuff. So I'll do a proper room tour in the morning because I'm loving the room. It's so nice. But yes, we've just gotten ready. Well, Jasper's ready. He's in his smart shirt. I'm ready. I'm not just wearing my mum clothes. And I've actually done my makeup for the first time in over a week. Um, and we're just gonna get Jensen ready and then go down to the carnival because every Friday they have a Caribbean night so none of the other restaurants are open and it's like a big street party with food and I'm assuming like performers and stuff. Pete's not getting here until about half seven, probably more like eight o'clock by the time he's actually here. Um, so I think me and the boys are just going to go down now. Look how smart you two look! We are so smart. You are so... Wow. <laughs> Come on then. So this is the downside of being on the first floor and not having Pete here yet. <laughs> Good job. Take your time. How cool is this? James! <laughs> Look at you! Are you going to put it on too? <laughs> Do some dancing! Show me your dancing! in the room I've managed to lose my voice as well and beat it you got stuck in loads of traffic didn't you yeah four hours yeah <laughs> but um that's because I moaned that's like a flight <laughs> yeah I moaned because I wanted him to come here at half seven rather than nine um but it meant that he got stuck in rush hour Hello, and didn't get here till like quarter to nine anyway I'm Also, that we're going to be changing rooms um, because there was something up with our air cotton when we got in last night um, and everything felt damp like all of the bedding even the rugs on the floor felt like they'd just been shampooed and the guy came and fixed it the guy came and fixed it and um, a lady came and changed all the bedding and stuff but then we woke up at like four in the morning and the floor was wet so there's definitely something wrong with it but yeah the manager this morning was really apologetic and really really helpful so she's going to move us to another room on this floor which will be exactly the same so I'll just do a tour of the room once we're in the new one
Right, so we've just got into our new room, which is exactly the same as the original room. So you've got the front door there, and then this is like a little lounge area. So you've got the pull-out sofa for Jasper, and then obviously the crib. There's a sink over there. Um, a little table. We got some champagne um, and also some chocolates as like a bit of a goodwill gesture because we had to move rooms. Um, and then through here, there's just like a storage cupboard with the ironing board. Um, so they're one and a half bathrooms. So in here you've got just a toilet and the sink. And then in here you've got oh, the main bathroom, so you've got a sink and the toilet and a shower. That's probably the only thing I would say I like to have a bath, um, mainly for the boys, not for me. But it is a really big shower, which is good. Um, and yeah, what stuff have they got here? So just all like shampoos, conditioners, shower gel, body lotion, there's two of each of those. And then all the little kits. And then got the wardrobe back out here. We just got some nice robes and the safe. Um, and then the main bedroom, which is lovely. So huge big bed. So yeah, I just feel like the decor is really nice. It's very like neutral and and bright. Yeah, lovely. And then for me, this is the piece de resistance, the view. So you've got a lovely balcony. Yeah, with the little rocking chairs and just look at that. So it's really lovely at night time because you can just hear the waves. You can't see anything because there's no lights out there. Um, but yeah, you can just hear the waves and it's so lovely. Hi, we are all ready and heading out for dinner, aren't we? All suited and booted. Except we're not suited. I've still got wet hair. <laughs> Excited for dinner. We're going to have food thrown at us. Jasper's in a bush chair. Good morning guys, so we have woken up to our second and last day here um, and we're just, I'm not naked by the way, I've got a, it's the wrong thing on um, and we're just heading down for breakfast Daddy. Very, very tired oh, this morning, but yeah, we're going to go for breakfast and then we've actually got a nice day planned, well obviously yesterday was a nice day as well um, but we've got a spa treatment, we're doing a couples massage and the boys are, they're going to go to the kids club but with a babysitter because they're too young for the actual kids club, you've got to be five Just going to get the babies. Was talking business. Yeah, we're talking about business, referring to Drake. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we just had a nice drink and just sat in the pool, didn't we? Losing my voice. Hello, baby. Hi. <laughs> they don't care.
checked out and we're about to drive back to the villa. We have had a lovely time, haven't we? Yeah, boy. So I'm definitely going to do a blog review of the hotel because it was just amazing. And I think because it wasn't, a, I feel like I've said this already, maybe I have, but because it wasn't like a typical family, like it's a family resort but because it doesn't have like a water park or something like that. I don't think it's like one of the more popular ones. And like normally we'd opt for one with a water park, wouldn't we? Something for the kids. Yeah. But I feel like it's actually been more relaxing not having that because you're not constantly like following them around on different activities. Like they just went in the pool with us which was really nice. But yes, I hope you enjoyed my first Jamaica vlog. Um, there'll be loads more because I think we're gonna try and go to a different resort each weekend while we're here so that it's like a little mini holiday because obviously during the week we don't get to spend much time together. But yeah, if you liked it, please do give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below. Let me know if you've been to this hotel or if you've got any questions about it. And yes, I will see you next time. Bye.